Hey everyone, it's Pixel8 here, and welcome back to the channel. I am back with yet another update on the Paralives game, which is another life simulation game that's expected to come in the future. Quite random, but I'd like to add that I'm getting so tired of using these same two videos over and over again in my videos, so I'm really hoping that we get some new gameplay footage teased as well so I have something other than these videos to use. I'd like to say first that there still is no release date for this game, though I do think it's either going to be releasing in 2020 or 2021. The game is still in early development so I don't see it coming this year in 2019 and I'm kind of skeptical about even next year as it takes a long time to fully develop a game especially since this one is by one creator. The information in this video is brought to you by the Paralives Hub website site, I will have a link to the full article pinned down in the comment section below. Today we are going to discuss features that are confirmed and are confirmed to not come in the Paralives game. Now keep in mind the game is still in early development so this list could change. Of course more features are going to be added on to both sides of this list and also Alex could potentially change his mind on some things and take things out of the final game. This game is not being created by a studio, it's being created by one individual so he kind of has the freedom to do as he wishes. So the features that are confirmed so far in the Paralives game are open world, seasons, farms, color wheels, curved walls, split level homes, curved pools, an optional grid, the ability to create different lots and the size you want them to be, exact angles of walls, dogs, cats, horses, free updates, point and click character movement kind of like how we have in the Sims series, cars, boats, and bicycles. I didn't make this clear in one of my previous videos, but bicycles are also confirmed along with cars and boats with transportation. And as far as pets go, we will have cats, dogs, and horses all together, and even horseback riding if you haven't watched any of my previous videos. Features that are confirmed to not come into the game are drugs, murder through gore, religions, gore, sexual violence, pornography, multiplayer, console version, and suicidal features. So at this moment, console version is confirmed to not be coming, but like I said, if the game blows up and if things go well, I think it's very possible that they could make it on console, but as of right now, there are no plans for it, and I'm really happy that things like pornography and suicide and sexual violence are not included. I definitely think that's something for the mods, because those types of things would definitely change the rating. The creator of the game has confirmed that the game is rated T for teen, so they're gonna have to uphold that rating by, you know, making sure that these types of things are not included. Drugs can be a mod, kind of like how we have the base mental drug mod in The Sims. And with the pornography and the violence, we have Wicked Whims and we have the Extreme Violence mod. So things like that, if you really want to tell stories, will probably end up becoming mods for this game. But I'm happy that they are not being included in the base game. It's very controversial to do something like that, especially if they're going to try to market this game to a younger audience. Now, as far as as multiplayer, I kind of want to talk about that for a second. I've been dreaming for a Sims game where you can literally go into a world and play with your friends and build houses and live lives with other players. I've been dreaming for a game that you can do that, and I'm kind of sad to know that this isn't going to be that game. Could multiplayer support be added sometime in the future if he changes his mind? Yes, it's very possible, but right now it is confirmed not coming, but anything can change. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it entertaining and and I hope you are excited for the game. It's still a long way from release. So make sure that you guys are keeping your hopes low because when it comes out, it could turn out being completely different from what we expect. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and add it to your favorite playlist right here on YouTube. Click the subscribe button to become a little lemon and ding the bell next to it to receive notifications for any type of future upload on the channel. You can follow me on social media. Links to all of them will be down in the description box below. That includes Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitch, and more. I love you guys and I'll see you all next time.